When we recently visited the Epson booth at IFA Fair in Berlin, one projector was the unmistakable centerpiece. Mounted on a special frame and displaying picture in all directions was the new portable laser projector, one that Epson seems to have very high hopes for. Now, fair and a booth with plenty of bright lights is no place to form an opinion on a device like this, so thankfully a few weeks later we got a chance to get some one-on-one -on -one time with Epson EF100, test it for a week and share our opinions with you. At first glance it is clear that a lot of thought went into designing this projector. Although it's made of very sturdy plastic, exterior is textured like it's made of leather, which gives it that expensive exclusive look, even more pronounced in black bronze version that we have received. There is also a white silver one, but we think black not only looks nicer, but also might be a better idea after the projector gets a lot of use. The main selling point of this model is its portability. At 21 by 23 cm and 9.2 cm profile, this might not be the smallest projector out there, but it's still small enough to fit into any backpack, especially considering there's no additional power adapter or anything else you need to carry along apart from a power cable. Good thing about this projector is not so much its size, but its clever design. Epson moved the whole cooling system and vent openings to a side and front, which allowed this model some yoga positions not possible with other projectors. You can use the EF100 in standard horizontal position, but also put it on its side for vertical projection or watching a movie while laying sideways. Most unique thing is the possibility to set it upwards on its backside and project on the ceiling, which makes it the ultimate lazy man's projector. Netflix and chill. But seriously, projecting on the ceiling is actually quite useful as it is most often a biggest unobstructed white surface in any room. This kind of setup is made possible because power connector was moved from its usual position on the back to the side of the unit and the back remained clean with a removable mesh cover which hides the cavity containing HDMI 2.0 and micro USB connectors. Extra space inside is actually designed to house the additional devices like smaller version of Google Chromecast or Amazon Fire Stick. HDMI is of course used as a picture source, while USB unfortunately can only be used to power streaming devices and not for USB disc playback, which is a shame. Also, one of the mentioned streaming devices will be required to play anything on the projector without the cable, as it does not come equipped with Wi-Fi. This might be the biggest complaint we have about this model, as it is otherwise very practical. Built-in Wi-Fi along with USB OTG would make it so much more easy to use that we hope Epson comes up with a version of EF100 that includes these options as well. As it is, you will either have to spend some extra cash to get a Chromecast or use HDMI cable which can be neatly tucked behind the mesh cover when you use the projector upright. To generate light for projection, this Epson model uses laser which offers up to 20,000 hours of use. This means that if you use the projector for an average of 5 hours a day, which is quite a lot both for professional and home use scenarios, EF100 will serve you for nearly 11 years with no need for lamp replacement. Practically, you can use it whenever, wherever, for however long and for whatever you like, which is an important thing to consider when you contemplate on whether you should invest in a projector. Besides longevity, laser has another advantage in the form of maximum brightness, so Epson EF100 offers 2000 lumens, which makes it very usable even in brightly lit rooms. With dynamic contrast of 2.5 million to 1, picture displayed by this unit on white surfaces is very bright and with an excellent color saturation. Although it would be even better on a dedicated projection surface, it is good to know that display quality is high even on a simple white wall and quite decent even on some other wall shades, even visible enough on a fairly dark grey wallpaper in our studio which gives users a lot of flexibility to project in practically any environment. The unit comes with a few predefined picture modes but also allows you to make very detailed white balance adjustments as well as tune each color channel individually, so even if the wall is not white you will be able to get the projector to display proper colors on it. A cool feature that complements this is the ability to save all the settings in one of the 10 memory locations so once you set your projector to a certain room and position there's no need to do it ever again, just recall the settings and you're good to go. Making adjustments is possible on the unit itself where you'll find the focus slider as well as keys for volume and horizontal keystone adjustments, but also via remote controller that will let you access all the supported parameters through an on-screen menu. EF100 uses Epson's free LCD technology which splits the laser beam to three separate colors and later adds them back together after processing and before the actual projection. This avoids the common rainbow effect problem with DLP type projectors which can be irritating when you're watching any fast action content. We did mention this may not be the smallest projector, but it is the world's smallest free LCD type projector with over 500 lumens of brightness. 
It can project pictures from 30 up to 150 inches in diagonal with very easy geometry adjustments. So, for example, it is possible to project from the side at an angle of up to 40 degrees or at a vertical angle of up to 45 degrees. Base of the projector also houses a retractable height adjustment, which will make it easier for you to point the projector right where you want it, without resorting to boxing boxes. Main downside of this model is its pixel resolution, which is only 1280 by 720 pixels. Even though this is quite enough to read even tiny text in PowerPoint presentations and certainly more than enough for movies, we would still have preferred at least Full HD. Primarily because at larger projected sizes, individual pixels become more pronounced, although to be fair, we are talking 75 inches and larger, which is the upper limit of currently available big screen TVs. A bit unexpectedly pleasant surprise was the sound. Epson EF100 comes with a single speaker and 5 watts of power. Not exactly loud, though still loud enough for an average room. But the impression the sound makes is very good, both in terms of sound stage, frequency balance and bass. Surely don't expect the bass on a small device like this to dissolve your kidney stone, but it definitely sounds bigger than you would expect and with no apparent scoops in any part of the frequency spectrum. Menu also offers predefined sound modes optimized for movies, music or dialogue, and interestingly enough, even though the Wi-Fi is missing, Unit is equipped with Bluetooth that is there to allow you to connect to external wireless speakers. Given the portable nature of this projector, option to connect to some powerful Bluetooth portable speaker definitely opens up some interesting possibilities, like creating your own movie theater under the open sky on some unexpected locations on the wall of a house or a building. Speaking of sound, we should mention that this model creates very low noise, rated at 29 decibels in normal mode and 26 in echo, so obviously the robust cooling system you can see through the vent holes does its job pretty well. Overall, Epson EF100 is a projector for anyone and any purpose. Long lamp life that you won't even have to think about, as well as portability and ability to project in multiple positions, make this model a great choice for both companies and home users alike, as they'll be able to use it wherever there's a wall or a ceiling. This model is priced at about 1000 euros or $1100, which is not a small amount, but it is a fair price for a portable projector with all the possibilities it brings. Thank you for watching Bench House review of Epson EF100 projector. We hope you liked it enough to give us a like and hope you'll visit our channel for many more interesting reviews. Keep watching and we'll see you next time.